DeAndre, uh, you had 17 points in the first half. You easily could went for 40. You only took three shots in the second half. Why do you only take three shots in the second half versus being more aggressive in the second half? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, I, I saw them uh, start playing me more aggressively, and so uh, my teammates just start cutting and, and things, and they was open. So I just started hitting my teammates and making plays because – I was more of a threat on offense. They was playing my, my drive and things like that, so it gave room for uh, my teammates to make plays. Elijah, you was very aggressive today with the offensive end. Um, what's this journey been like for you? Uh, I mean, it's been fun. It's been challenging. It's, uh, uh, those are the main two words I can use for it. I've grown a lot in the past, what, six, seven months I've been here. Uh, Coach Penny has coached me hard and it just helped me become a, a, really, a really good player. DeAndre in the back. Um, right here. Oh. No, yeah, yeah. Um, it feels like, you know, you've been productive the entire season, but we talked about some of the composure stuff and keeping your emotions in line. It feels like the last month or so, your production has gone up and you've been more in control when it comes to the fouls and things like that. Do you feel like you've had a real growth moment in that time frame? Oh, definitely. Uh, just the games that I did file out and my emotions got the best of me, um, I learned from. And that's what we supposed to do as basketball players is learn from, you know, our bad games. And that's what I've been doing. And each game just been um, helping me grow as a basketball player on just understanding how to play the right way for us to win. And one point down, you're, you're the, the lead, 18-point lead had gotten to six. You get the putback, you get the three, and then you had three straight assists. What was that? Can you take me through that stretch and what you were thinking there? Um, uh, I was just basically locked in on whatever I need to do for us to win. It, that's a steal, that's a three, that's a rebound, that's anything. Um, just stay locked in for us to, to get that win, whatever I got to do. Elijah, how would you describe the way your role has changed here versus you know last year at Georgia Southern? and um, How difficult is it to go through an entire college career being one type of player and having to maybe fit a certain mold here for this team? Um, it, it, I mean, I wouldn't say that. I think over my four years at Georgia Southern, I kind of played every role, and I, I, it's kind of the same thing here. So um, I kind of, like I said, I kind of do a little bit of everything, whether, whether it's on the ball, off the ball, guarding whoever on defense. So just doing whatever the team needs me to do to uh, help win games. Elijah, I know it was uh, – people talked about it before the season, how a lot of the transfers who came in, you, Kendrick – KO, Keontae, have never been to the NCAA tournament. Do you guys still talk about that now, now that it, you're getting close to it? Um, and like, how much of a motivating factor is that? Uh, it's, it's a big motivating factor. That's why I, I think most of the names you said came here to play to in, in the NCAA tournament. That was a big reason I came. And um, it's still the motivating factor now just to get there. We're, I mean, we're close, but I mean, we're not even, we're not done yet, so. De DeAndre, along those lines, you did it last year mm -hmm. with, with Memphis, like what? What are you telling them about what it takes in games like this, moments like this, weeks like this with, that your guys are you guys are going through right now? Uh, we we know games gonna be tough, and getting to the tournament is tough. So um, we just got to put our hard hats on and, and just grind out wins right now. Take as many wins we can. And that's basically what I'm telling them because it's it's tough to get to that tournament and it's tough to play in it too as well. But it's the greatest tournament in the world, so we we definitely want to be there. DeAndre, Coach mentioned earlier that uh, you're one of the greats to play within this program. What's that ride been like for you? Oh, uh, man, it's been historic. Um, just this being my last year, um, I, I wouldn't think that my last year would be my best year, but how I've been playing, um, that's how it's been going. And I'm just, you know, happy. A testament to my, my teammates and my coaches just keeping me locked in and helping me, you know, succeed the right way. And um, I, I love the ride, and I'm enjoying every moment uh, with my teammates and, and my coaches and just want to, you know, leave here, leave my mark uh, with my team and in the city. DeAndre, understanding how much getting back there means to you mm -hmm. and getting there with Kendrick and guys like Elijah, how much are you watching the bubble line and last four in, last four out, all those projections and everything at all or not? Uh, I can't pay too much attention on that because uh, – we can't look past anything. We got crucial games coming up that we have to win first before we even think about that. But uh, I did look at it a couple of times. But 
now that um, that we on the edge, we're just trying to you know stack up as many wins as possible. Two, yeah. two. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I was, two quick questions. Do you remember when you got your last technical? No, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. Um, and secondly, when you go into the crowd after the games, I, even I remember it from Vanderbilt. You seem like you really enjoy that. Do you? Is that the part of what you embrace about being a Tiger? Oh, definitely, man. The, the support and the love uh, from our fans is is amazing, man. And they like our six man. They the reason we go out there and and play hard um, and, and be an inspiration to to the younger youth. And um, on the, after the game, I at least try to you know, talk to as much people as I can because I'm that type of guy. I'm a people's person, and um, I just want to show my support to them that they supporting us coming to our games and, you know, screaming loud and things like that. So I, I just really appreciate the city and the fans' love, you know, to us. DeAndre, how much has uh, Joey Dorsey being on this staff for the past, what, uh, over a month, month and a half, kind of him being in your year, how much has that helped you kind of balance your fire with being more calm, cool, collected, and just how has that aided your growth overall as a player? Oh, man, it, I mean, it's humongous. He elevated me a lot uh, mentally and physically, um, just, you know, you know, telling me little things that I can use out there um, to my advantage. And, you know, he played at the highest level, um, went to the national championship game. So um, I just learned from him each and every day. He tried to pick his brain, and um, he, he helped the bigs, you know, tremendously. Uh, question for either or, or both. Um, in the first half, when Kendrick looks like he's kind of in his own head, maybe in his own way a little bit, uh, what do you tell a guy like that at halftime for him to flip that switch the way he did? Um, I mean, you don't really have to say too much. He's a he's a, a really good point guard. He, I mean, he kind of when he does things on the court, he, he uh, analyzes and just learns from it, grows from it, and and he knew what, what he had to do the second half to help us win the game. So it's not really. You definitely give him some motivating words just as a teammate, but I mean him as a uh, the lead point guard he is, he handles business. He's gonna uh, take care of himself mentally. Great answer. <laughs> <laughs>